Okay, I'll get you started on part A here. Um, and then on board two, we'll take a quick look at what I think is happening in part B. Uh, of course, work is the distance times the weight uh, or, or force required to lift a slice of water from where it is up over the top of the spout. So the distance uh, that this typical slice of water is moved is four minus this distance right here, which I'm calling Y. So I put this on a coordinate axis, zero, zero is the vertex of the cone of the triangle. And uh, of course, three is at Y equals three is at the top. Uh, the question is, how do we find the formula for the volume of the slice? Because weight is volume times density. And when we're in uh, using meters, we have to take 9.8 times 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. Uh, so that's where this comes from right here. Um, so how do we find the relationship between X and Y? Well, there's two ways to do it. You can think of similar right triangles. So when the water level's here, We've got a little, little, this little right triangle. And of course, the big right triangle is the 1.5 and 3 for the legs. So we can set up this ratio, solve for x sub i, and we find out that x sub i is 1 half of y sub i, always, for any water level from 0 up to 3. Another way to find the relationship is to write the equation of this side right here. You know two points that this line passes through 0, 0, and 3 halves comma 3. You can calculate the slope. Use point slope, and you get y equals 2x. Solve for x. x is 1 half y. Okay, so that's enough to set up the definite integral. Uh, the slices of water occur from 0 to 3. That's where we're going, from 0 up to 3, because the tank is full of water. Uh, the distance that each slice moves is... For, four take away this distance, which you've already mentioned. And now the volume of, of, a, of a typical slice, you have to picture this eight meters going out this way. So that's a constant, eight meters. So each slice is a little typical rectangular solid, where dy is just the thin little slice here for the height. This distance is two of these x sub i's. So if x sub i, there's two of these x sub i's, but we know that x is one half y sub i. So if I put a one half y right here, the twos will cancel out. That'll become a y. I can move this eight out front. There's your definite in the so to evaluate that, you'll distribute this y here, find an antiderivative, evaluate from 0 to 3, and then multiply by this number right here. That'll give you the work. I think it's like over 700,000 uh, joules of work. Uh, on board 2, we want to know what's the water level when the work is equal to 4.7 times 10 to the fifth. So this is actually the equation that we're solving right here. There's the unknown. So we do the same deal. We could divide both sides of this equation by 9.8 times 10 to the third times 8, where this is the acceleration due to gravity. This is the uh, density of water. And that 8 was part of setting up this definite interval. So this is what you've got to solve. 4 minus y times y, oops, I forgot the dy, equals 4.7 times 10 to the fifth divided by 9.8 times 10 cubed times 8. You can set this up. 
uh, you can evaluate or find the antiderivative, evaluate from W to 3 and solve for W, uh, you might have to use a calculator to actually find out what W is. Okay, there you go. Uh, hope that helped. And I'm going to, uh, along with the answer, post a link to the Desmos graph that generated this picture and also has these definite integrals evaluated. Okay.